First person this week, a first place winner. Kayla Martell is the newly crowned Miss Delaware 2010, and she will be representing the first state well in the Miss America pageant. And when it comes to her platform, she's not just talking about a cause, she's living it. The 21-year-old Milford native, native is our first person this week. Kayla, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. You've gone out for this title for a few years. Yes. Why was this year <laughs> Kayla's year? This year I just wanted to be the best version of myself. I worked hard to perfect uh, the skills that I already had and I honed into what I wanted to represent and the person that I wanted to be on the stage. Okay, and it, it went very well for you. You <laughs> yes, know, it was, a, was my year. <laughs> it, it definitely was your year. Tell us a little bit about your platform and, you know, it was so heartfelt because you have some personal experience with it. Yes, I'll be representing the National Alopecia Arietta Foundation at the Miss America pageant and I picked this platform because I've had alopecia arietta myself for over 11 years now. And what is that? <laughs> it's an autoimmune disorder and basically it means that you lose your hair and there's no cure and there's really no treatment for it either. Um, generally I'm healthy in all other aspects of my life. I just happen to lose my hair. And I think most people that that does that surprise them when you <laughs> first when you first tell yes, them that. Yes, of course, because people see me just as I am right now, and uh, I, I usually have to tell people I'm actually wearing a wig right now, and I wore a wig at the competition for Miss Delaware, and I think I'll be wearing the wig again at Miss America too. But sometimes I make appearances with it, and sometimes I make appearances without it, just depending on where I'm going to be. Now I understand though that you really didn't start wearing a wig with any regularity really until this competition. In fact, you've act actually competed without the wig in the past yes. and you're, it sounds like you're equally comfortable with or without Absolutely. it. Absolutely. When I go to the movies, when I go to the mall or dinner with my family, I'm usually not wearing it. Uh, I started wearing a wig in the end of 2008 and this is my first wig that I've ever purchased that same year and so um, it was just a decision that I decided to go with and I just trusted my heart that it was the right thing to do but I competed in Miss Delaware without the wig and I placed fourth runner up in 2006 without it. Are you comfortable being interviewed on television yes, shows course. without I it? Can take well, it off now for you if you'd like. See, it's it's just very light and easy, and it's just human yeah. hair, so it's very simple to just keep up with it. I had to learn how to style hair, though, all over again. Oh, sure. Because I went years without styling any hair whatsoever. <laughs> well, I say hair or, or no hair, you were beautiful oh, either thank way. You. Thank you. But I would have to say also that it's your confidence that is one of your best attributes and who makes oh. you so beautiful as well. Thank you. It's, you know, everything to do with my parents and my faith and just the values that they instilled in me. I have, I have to thank them for all of that. <laughs> well, and that's what I wanted to ask you about as well, because this first came into your life that for a lot of people you know at 10 years old and then you're approaching those teenage years that can yes. be a very a very hard time growing uh, growing up absolutely and so how is it that you were so able to come out of that with so much confidence and you were just like hey this is just part <laughs> of me and this is it um, you know, I, I don't think there's any good age to lose your hair, really. Even if you're 60 years old or if you're 5 years old or 10, I, I just don't think there's a good time for it. But I was fortunate that no matter what the time timing happened to be, that I had the greatest people supporting me and the right people behind me. And my parents were always there to remind me that I looked beautiful just as I was. And they never forced me to wear a wig. They never even really brought it up because they knew that I was fine just as I was. And I think it's so great that you're able to raise awareness about something that you have personal experience with as well. Yes, yeah, I'm very blessed. This is a great platform for me to be able to represent and I'm able to show people that I'm comfortable just as I am and they should be as well. All right, Kayla Martell, Miss Delaware 2010, and dare I say, maybe Miss America I down the line. So. I sure hope so. I know, <laughs> I know you would make us very proud. Thank you so much.